Hi everyone, this is Edo from Framer and I'm going to show you some CMS improvements we've been adding in the past few days, including a new option for filters, a control for image focal points, support for field descriptions and multi-select of collection items. To show you how all this work, I prepared a page showing a collection of video tutorials that are tagged by topics. Now, I want to create a view in which I filter only the most creative ones out of these 50. So let me add a creative title for my page. With my collection being selected, I'm going to head to filters. All my filters are now grouped in this popover and you might already notice a new control here at the top. I'm going to add the first filter to select only collection items with a certain topic, which is effects. I then add a second filter, this time matching a topic that is components. You'll notice how nothing is shown in my page yet, since the filter is trying to match all these conditions. If I click to any, which is a new type of control, I'll see items matching one or the other topic showing up. And since there has been a recent creative update, let me try to include it with another filter. I choose title, contains and type in cursors. And there it is, a new item matching my filter shows up in the list. And that's it for filters. We also included an improvement to give you more control over how images are displayed. If I reduce the height of this banner, you'll notice some content gets hidden. And this gets even more noticeable on larger breakpoints. The content gets equally hidden at the top and at the bottom, but I would like the upper part to stay always visible. In the CMS view, by opening a collection item, you'll notice that images have now a new control called focal point, a spot in the picture that will always be in focus no matter the cropping. You can set a focal point by dragging this little circle around and I'm going to place it on the heading within the asset. After clicking apply, you'll notice the top part of the image won't be hidden any longer. This makes the banner scale well at different resolutions, making it display nicely both on desktop and mobile without the need of extra breakpoints. Now let's go to the CMS view. We've been asked about the ability to duplicate fields with all their options, so we made it possible on right-click. We also added field descriptions, so that designers working in larger teams can leave suggestions to marketeers and copywriters. Descriptions can be left for any field in the collection and be as detailed as you like. For instance, indicating the type of content the team needs to fill in, the tone of voice, the recommended length, or anything else, really. Lastly, we heard that sometimes you might want to delete a number of items in one go. Now you can click select or simply over on an item icon to show a checkbox and multi-select a few. Little pro tip here, by holding shift you can select a range. When clicking delete, you get a confirmation message, but don't worry, if you deleted something you shouldn't have, you can always Command Z or Ctrl Z to undo. We fixed uh, even more details that you can read in the description. And next, we'll focus on helping teams handle even larger collections. Stay tuned for more CMS updates coming soon and happy building!